Taking a quick look at our weather trouble spots here as we wrap up the work week and we begin in Florida at Boynton Beach where of course it's been a beautiful sunny start to the day but hot and windy conditions will be developing in this area which is just to the north of West Palm throughout the afternoon today gusts up into the 20 even close to 30 mile per hour range. Those uh, uh, conditions are also leading to some wildfire concerns across Florida which we'll get to in a moment but uh, really the focus of the forecast today is on the thunderstorm threat across portions of the southeast. We could see some strong to severe storms developing in those areas through the afternoon. The primary threat will be for some gusty wind or hail. Now further south across Florida will stay dry and sunny, but uh, those relative humidity values will be a little bit lower and that is going to bring about conditions in which wildfires could spread quite quickly. These showers will continue to progress eastward toward the Carolinas as we head into Saturday and eventually lifting northward across the northeast, bringing a couple days of some soggy weather across the mid-Atlantic region and into the north. Northeast. The wind flow map across the U.S. here indicates that a distinct counterclockwise flow around this area of low pressure. So some breezy conditions developing on the backside of that low as those winds gust up to around 20 to 30 miles per hour, especially near the Dallas area. Severe threat for today does include a slight risk zone of concern across the southern portion of Mississippi, a little bit of that stretching into Alabama as well, and into the eastern portion of Louisiana. Further toward the south. It's getting hot. We may be into record setting territory in places like Savannah, 95 degrees there today. Melbourne warming up to 93 this afternoon. Tomorrow, another hot day where high temperatures are expected to be in the low 90s and potentially breaking some records. Wildfire concerns for all of these pink shaded areas. That is where we have a red flag warning in effect through the day today. Low relative humidities and high winds would mean that if a wildfire were to start, it would spread quite quickly. Check back here for more severe weather updates.